And then so looking at um, your sort of looking back, I, I guess, on various things that have happened since then, um, mm -hmm. do you think there's something, an event or a situation that took place that made you think differently, transitioned you from thinking, um, I, I'm, I'm still learning, I'm a student, to thinking like, no, I'm a, I'm a professional now in what I do. I'm, I'm sort of know what I'm doing and I'm comfortable with it and I'm able to instruct others. Yeah, I think um, probably I'm very, especially when I was younger, I was a very, very serious person and um, took everything very seriously. And I've known you a long time, Brett, and, um, you know, I think you know that. Um, I don't think I ever felt like I was a student. I never really behaved like a student, I don't think. And I was just always sort of a bit more serious and took everything, you know, really, really seriously. Um, in terms of actually... Um, sort of going from that safety net, I would say, of, of being a student. That's how I would describe it. It's a safety mm. net, isn't it, when you have your, your teachers and, and everything. I think um, leaving university was clearly a, a big deal, which coincided with me um, uh, with, with winning some competitions and, and things and, and sort of having to then reevaluate what I was doing. Um, but, but for me, sort of just playing in, in an excellent standard brass band at the time, you are challenge to not behave like you can't behave like a student you have to turn up on time you have to have everything prepared you have to be able to cope with the pressure of those contests and the concerts and performing at a, a, an incredibly high level constantly and so therefore you, you you have to sort of grow up really really quickly in terms of being amateur which I would sort of class student where nothing really matters and you always get bailed out to being professional where you have to and I think for me it was very clear right from the start. I probably didn't realise it at the time, but I definitely everyone around me did that there was something a bit different about me as a player, probably as a person as well for someone so young, and that it was something that was that was going to make a bit of an impact and it was going to be something that I was going to be doing. So I think right from the very start of even just leaving home and going to university, I, I, I had that attitude of... I have to be, I mean, I am a total perfectionist anyway. I, I just, that is just me and I have been since I was really little. So I think that's just gone through. Um, and especially with my playing, I am never happy with my playing. There's probably about five occasions in my whole life where I've gone, yeah, okay, that was amazing. And that, and that was it. So, yeah. Mm. 